Hey everybody, it's Ryan. Welcome back to How Farms Work. We are in the 8235R. We have the 569 Premium on the back, and we're headed down to the valley. Travis is right behind us with the 7600. We're gonna take both balers down to the valley and hopefully get as much baled as possible today, bar any major issues. But uh, we're heading down there right now. Yesterday we had to use the 569 instead of our older baler because uh, the older baler couldn't take the more wet material. But uh, we switched over to using this and it handled it just fine and made some pretty good bales. So we're gonna see how well it performs down at the valley. I think we just found ourselves in the middle of an antique tractor parade. What is this? One of these things just doesn't belong here. Get it, Rocket. Get it. Get that here. All right, we're down at the valley now. We're gonna start with the 569. Travis is gonna go around and moisture check the bales as we bale the first few, just to you know check to see what the moisture is doing. One thing I really like about this baler is that it does have three sensors on it. So the day that we did our test run on this baler, I really liked that because it made it a lot easier to make a flat, level, nice looking bale. Um, pressure wise, we have the pressure on the baler basically, as far as I'm aware, turned all the way up and um, you know they're they're fairly tight so let's give this a try I like to set field crews to 2050 so our max engine speed will be 2050 when I speed it up Now this baler has a kicker on it and I told Travis I like to have it functioning so uh, we're going to give it a try and see how I like this one. Well dang, that's not a very even bale. Well it says about how great kickers are but personally my opinion hasn't changed. They're all right on flat ground on any kind of hills. That's what I was watching for you. Downhill and you kick it uphill, what do you expect?
23 bales so far. We disengaged the kicker because a spring broke on the right side and uh, Travis wasn't really crazy about how uh, the bale will roll back into the kicker when it's pointed uphill. So um, we'll just wait and see. I really liked the coon baler because it had the ramp on it and when the ramp came up, it protected the back end of the baler from getting hit by that bale. So you could really just pound them out without worrying about the gate pretty much ever. So everything's working good. Let's keep it rolling. He has to go back to the farm because he broke a chain. So far, we've collectively got uh, 50 bales. I've got 31 and he had 20. So I'm gonna keep bailing while he's running to get that fixed, hopefully. Belt just twisted on that hill back there. Go straighten it out. Not crazy about how loose the belts are on the spaler when the gates open. We've done 120 bales so far, though I'm not sure what Travis's bale count is. Dad and Kevin found a nice little stake. They didn't pull it out. Oh, we just ran out of net wrap. <laughs> check net roll, check net switch, check harness and connections from controller to sensor. Um, no, how about it's just not out? We're out of net wrap. Wow, this stake's seen some stuff. It's hard to believe we haven't found it before. But they didn't pull it out because Dad is afraid that it was gonna break off. So when we're out here at the skids here, we'll pop it out then. But otherwise they'll just break it, trying to wiggle it back and forth.
Okay, John Deere, what's the trick here? Problem is, I hurt my finger this morning. Ouch. So since this is a cover edge baler, you have to use your end caps and these spacers for regular edge to edge wrap. The end of day one, we've got 176 bales on this baler total. I got 91 up here in the field and 85 uh, between the two bottoms. I'll see if I can't ask Travis what he got. But uh, we're gonna have to come back down again tomorrow and finish baling. We're over halfway done. We got the most of it done. There's another like 35 to 40 acres left that needs to be baled. So should be enough for tomorrow and then we got to focus on hauling in so how many did you get 107. 176 that's it oh, that, how much is that total dude i'm not strong at math after everything i went through today 283 wow <laughs> okay then do the math because they're five inches i don't have my phone they're five inches bigger than last year so take what'd you say 283 times 65 divided by 60. 306? That's the equivalent of what we were making last year. So last year, around the same acres, that's 306. And we still got, we got over 30 acres to go yet. We'll see you guys then. Day two of bailing down at the valley. We just went through the tractors, we serviced them. We just uh, scraped off all the hay and chaff that were on the radiators and we're ready to go. Dad started raking two hours ago and we're about to get started. So far the baler's been working very well. I haven't had any issues other than that one belt that got flipped over but that was easy to fix. Travis had to eject a bale down on the bottom last night and as I was helping him unroll it I said to him, it's like, you gotta get smart like me. You gotta back over one of these hillsides and eject the bale so the bale unrolls itself. I did that over there last night for a bale and uh, it, by the time it reached the bottom, it had completely gone down to nothing. So all I had to do is close the gate, spin around and drive it back down the hill and uh, pick the hay back up. So would you look at that? Relina brought lunch. She was nice enough to bring Brent along too. Cool. Thank you. This is the machine setup. So here we've got the warning five inches before we reach 64 inches. At 64 inches is when it'll start wrapping. And we've got our soft core size. So you can have a softer core in these bales. For what reasons, I'm not totally sure why, but I imagine it's a lot like the coon baler where you can set it to uh, have different pressure uh, throughout the bale. So I think it's to help with like making a more compact bale but um, I, we're not using that today. Look, you can eat that, but when mom asks, I didn't have anything to do with it, all right? Because she's gonna be the one who's smelling you. I'm gonna be in the other room, I promise. Learning experience today. So this is a spare used roll that we brought down this morning and threw in the spare slot. Well, looks like the net wrap dangled down into this one. And this one's been feeding out all right. Haven't had any issues with the net wrap as far as I could tell. But uh, we ran out and sure enough, had a look at this one and it's all frayed because it's been hanging down, it's been catching. And our bungees over here, which you're always supposed to make sure, absolutely sure that you hook them back up here so they don't dangle down because it will ruin your net wrap that's feeding in and uh, that one over there is missing the hook and this one over here is completely missing so we're gonna put in the other spare roll that we brought down this morning which there's even less on that one 
Travis had to go up to the farm to get fuel for the 76. He's coming back, so I called him up, and he's bringing down another roll with him. So I really thought the roll that I had in here would have finished it, but it's not even close. So we're going to take this out, throw it in the truck, and grab the other one. Reverse toilet paper roll. Well, for some people... Uh, put it in the bottom. Go through the bottom? What do you yeah. mean? Yeah, oh, I forgot the end cap. Yeah. Tap it. There you go. Like that? Yep. Okay. There you go. All right, let's keep going. So we got 67 on that field, and I got 269 bales total. Nice. So I was about to call our quits, and uh, I just ran out of net wrap. That's all that I had left right there. Probably enough for one more bale, but uh, I just said, screw it. I was gonna dump the bale that I got and start heading back to the farm. Well. There's probably no more than 10 bales left over there. Travis said that I turned away and the uh, chain broke again, or a different chain, but another chain broke on that baler. So um, we're transferring the net wrap from that one over to this one just to get us by. Like I said, this should do what we have left over there. There's literally nothing. I didn't want to end up with two partial bales in each baler, so I just was going to let him finish. But uh, So that means we bailed 429 bales. That's a new record. What did he say? I just said, let's just call it a day. Well, he just set the bales over there together. Okay. So like, just picking them up quicker. But um, he's basically just staying busy because he's waiting for us to get done. We'll go take the tractor, balers, and the rake back. I want to clean the balers off, get all the dirt and dust off of them. That one, it wasn't the small chain that broke. It's, it's the big long one. The local, the chain we're getting locally, We've always gotten it from, it, they've cheapened it up or something, because to break like that, I know it came from the same roll. We'll, we'll just buy the John Deere stuff next time. We're going to replace all of them. 429. Um, total right now. That's a lot more than I thought we'd get. I only have enough room to store half that, so I can take some up to my place. where I'm going to draw a line in the proverbial sand and uh, say that's a wrap for today. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Be sure to check out all of our other videos. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, all How Farms Work. And with that, one lucky commenter is going to be selected to win a How Farms Work hat. So if you're interested, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of this video down in the comment section. I'll see you next time.